In this video we're going to have a look at a particular type of question to do with circles that requires us to find the equation of the tangent to a circle. So let's have a look at it. It's a past exam question from an OCR paper. So a circle has centre, minus 2, 4 and radius 5. Find the equation of the circle, given your answer in that form. Well first of all we'll write a little note. So if we've got a circle that has this equation here, x plus a squared plus y plus b squared equals r squared. That's a circle with centre minus a minus b and radius r. So we can use this to find the equation of the circle with the features that were being given. So if that's minus a, what goes in the bracket is plus a. So we'll change the sign. So the x bracket is going to be x plus 2 squared, since it has x coordinate minus 2, and it's going to be y minus 4 squared, since it has y coordinate positive 4, equals the radius squared. So we've got the equation of the circle, however it's not in the required form. The form that we need is that form there. So if we multiply out the brackets, we get a step closer. x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 8y plus 16 equals 25. Separate that off. And let's gather all the terms together and put them in the order required. So x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 8y plus 20 equals 25. Therefore, x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 8y minus 5 equals 0. And that's the answer required by part 1 of the question. OK, part 2. F show that the tangent to the circle at the point minus 5, 8 has that equation. So we're working towards getting that answer there. I think a diagram is required just to make the question clearer. So we've got the centre which is minus 2, 4 and we've got a point on the circle, just going to roughly plot it there, which is minus 5, 8. And we need the equation of the tangent at this point in the circle, which is that there, the equation of this line. Now to find the equation of a straight line we need two things. We need the gradient and we need a point. Well, luckily, we've got a point. We're told the point is minus 5, 8. So that part's already been done for us. However, we haven't got the gradient. Well, we can't directly find the gradient of this line because we've only got one point on it. However, we can find the gradient of a line perpendicular to that, the gradient of the normal or the radius. We we'll gather that. We get that by finding the y difference over the x difference, which is 8 minus 4 over minus 5 minus 2, or rather minus minus 2, which is 4 over minus 3. Okay, so that's the gradient of the normal. So the gradient of the tangent must be the negative reciprocal of that, which is 3 quarters. Flip it then change the sign. So we've got what we need now to find the equation of the tangent. We've got a point and we've got the gradient. So plug it into the formula for the general equation of a straight line. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 which means that y minus 8 equals gradient x minus minus 5. Now at this point, in my opinion, it's easier to get rid of that fraction 3 quarters by timesing both sides by 4. So we'll do that, which implies that 4y minus 32 equals 3x plus 5. Much easier to multiply out these brackets now. We get 4y minus 32 equals 3x plus 15. We're almost there. Then let's take everything over the left-hand side. 
which means that 3x minus 4y plus 47 equals 0. And there we have it, the required answer. So for more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.